My name is Brian Monaghan. I've got a number of roles at the university. I'm principally a lecturer here and a researcher here. I'm working in high temperature chemistry and I have some formal roles relating to being the director of the engineering material strength and I'm the program leader of the sustainable steel manufacturing program of the steel research hub. Oh, I'm from a place called Glasgow in Scotland. More specifically, the drum. Should this ever appear anywhere where that matters. Oh, Willingon's a great place for all the obvious reasons. It's got the beach, it's got the escarpment. But the migraine experience, that's an interesting one. My bigger migraine experience was going from Scotland to England, where I had to learn to speak English. Coming to Australia, it was relatively trivial, and the beach life is good. Students who come to the University of Wollongong come from just about everywhere you can think of. Within my current research group, I have Nigerians, Sri Lankans, an Iranian, and a few Australians. Okay? Within the Steel Research Hub, currently, and we're just starting off, we have two Australians, some Indians, and we expect to have some Chinese. There's a strong emphasis in industry engagement. So, we have engineered within the programme and placements of the researchers to be in industry for periods of time. Sometimes maybe a week, maybe a month, but there's going to be strong industry engagement there. That's quite unusual for a research programme for a PhD student and has a key incentive to come and work within the steel research hub. The area I'm leading up is the sustainable steel manufacturing programme and within that some key challenges we're trying to address is how a modern steelworks is going to deal with current and future ores and raw materials they're going to be using. They are degrading with time because we've used up all the good ones. Okay? So that's a big challenge. But we also have challenges about improving efficient or being more efficient with our energy usage on plants. We are dealing with recycling materials from plants. So this is minimising waste minimising energy use on plant. So we're really dealing with sort of hot topical issues relating to steel sustainability. This is a resistance furnace. So it's heated up by resistance and that generates the heat inside the furnace. All right. But that's really just a standard furnace comment. The key unique thing about this Cecil drop system is the fact that we're able to measure the shape of the liquid on a surface. From understanding that and how it changes with time, we can say all sorts of things about the performance of these materials together. I had a couple of very strong, great mentors. I had a, a man called Professor Ken Mills, who's at Imperial College and at the National Physical Laboratory. He was playing about with thermophysical properties of liquid oxides, and slags, and magmas, and I found that quite inspiring. And, and he. I wouldn't say he taught me everything I know, but he taught me to how to have fun and play with science. Having a sense of humour in research, I think, is really key. Because, you know, one year into any programme that's not going well becomes a very miserable experience. And there's an expression we use back home, and I think we use in Australia, if you don't laugh, you cry. So we'll laugh under those circumstances and find ways of keeping going and keeping ourselves cheery.